Pide el quinto, llega el centro. La pide Vargas. Quinto, ya que se acabe esta, esta, esta miseria, porque el partido acaba 10-0. ¿eh? Que se acabe de una vez por todas, ya rebasó. La gente no juega. La gente no juega. O bueno, 7 a 0. Usted saque sus conclusiones. Copa América has thrown up some memorable games in its history. Honduras stunning Brazil in 2001, to Palermo missing a hat-trick of penalties against Colombia in 1999. However, on June 18, 2016, in Levi Stadium, Santa Clara, California, during the 100-year anniversary of the Copa América, the world witnessed one of the most embarrassing, shameful, humiliating defeats for a nation ever, and a game that will forever be remembered in Copa America history. This is the day we witness Chile conquer and destroy Mexico. Heading into the tournament, Mexico, after winning the Gold Cup in 2015, were looking good. But after the Gold Cup, controversy started. Miguel Herrera was sacked after allegedly punching announcer Cristian Martinoli, who was critical of the style of play of Herrera at the Gold Cup. In October that year, Colombian Juan Carlos Osorio was announced manager of L3 and led Mexico on a 16-game unbeaten run heading into the Copa Central. Chile, after winning their first ever Copa America on home soil in 2015, had some turmoil as well, with Sergio Hadoue resigning with new president Arturo Sala stepping into the role. In January 2016, Sampaoli reached an agreement to resign as Chile's manager. Sampaoli lost his bonus money after winning the Copa America, and Chile went into a new direction with Sala as the president. A week after Sampaoli's departure, Juan Antonio Pizzi was announced manager of La Roja. Pizzi had previously no experience in international football, and heading into the Copa America, Chile had only managed one win coming against Venezuela, and many weren't favoring Chile to repeat the success they had in 2015. Mexico started the Copa Centenario with two wins over Uruguay and Jamaica, and after a draw with Venezuela in the last game, Mexico topped Group C. But pundits and fans were critical of Osorio due to his tactics and lineups constantly changing throughout the group stage. Chile struggled in their group, losing their opening game versus Argentina 2-1. In the second game, Chile were struggling versus Bolivia, and after, shall we say, a questionable handball, Vidal converted the penalty to give Chile their first points in the Copa. The final game versus Panama was a win advanced game. Vargas and Sanchez announced their entrance into the tournament with two goals each and Chile beat Panama 4-2 to advance into the quarters. Heading into the game, many saw this as the most even and exciting matchup with both teams looking far from perfect but both having the potential to turn on the style in any moment. Chile had the potential to finally show the 2015 form while Osorio had to get his tactics and personal correct for this game. What ensued for the following 90 minutes is something that's even blocked in Pornhub. The first goal came as Ochoa's punch fell right into the path of Puch who tapped it in. Chile's threat down the wings caused Mexico's backline all sorts of issues. They had no clue what to do. And Sanchez found Vargas who sat down Moreno to give La Roja a 2-0 lead heading into the half. Now I advise every Mexican to not get PTSD and stop watching right now. After some fantastic pressing by Chile, Vidal won the ball and found Sanchez who inflicted more misery on Mexico scoring the third goal. Mexico's defense Defense was acting like a morning after Quinceanera and Vargas scored again just minutes after Sanchez's goal to give Chile a 4-0 lead after only 52 minutes. Again, an attack down the wing led to Chile's fifth goal after Bozajor's cross. Ochoa could only parry it straight into the path of Vargas and Vargas completed his hat trick in 14 minutes. Mexico went 16 minutes without conceding. Oh wait. I spoke too soon. What on earth are these two doing? And Vargas had his fourth goal of the night. And again, some questionable Mexico defending. Sanchez found Puch and with a delightful chip, gave Mexico a 7-up and complete utter humiliation of L3. The match would end 7-0. L3 suffered its largest loss in history in a competitive game, the worst previously being 6-0 to Germany in 1978 World Cup, and the largest friendly loss being 8-0 to England in 1961. After the game, Osorio quickly accepted this loss. I assume and I accept all responsibility for this defeat. Even Ochoa after the game said, the first thing we have to do is ask the fans to forgive us. Mexico went out of the Copa America in the most embarrassing matter possible and the outbreak from Mexican TV was glorious. While Chile, after a sensational performance, beat Colombia in the semi-final, scoring two quick goals in the first 10 minutes, and yet again, they met their rivals Argentina in the final, and again, they beat them on penalties to secure back-to-back -back Copa Americas and becoming only the fourth nation in Conobol to win back-to-back -back Copa Americas joining Argentina, Brazil, and Uruguay. And this golden generation cemented its legacy forever. So is this the most embarrassing defeat in Copa America history? And hey, 
maybe these two teams will meet in this summer's Copa America. Thank you all for watching. Remember to hit the like button and get your thoughts in the comments down below of this humiliation of Mexico in 2016. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and remember to download SofaScore. The link is in the description down below and we will be covering the Copa America this summer on the channel. So if you love Copa America content, this is the place to be. Have a beautiful day. Stay safe in this crazy world. And Mexican fans, I'm sorry. Adios.